Time now for Morning Rounds, our medical news of the week, and a look at a new hospital meant to treat diseases and ease the minds of parents and children. At a facility in Palo Alto, California, a top priority was to create a special environment for young patients with comforts, amusements, and distractions to make a hospital stay easier to handle. John Blackstone took a tour. A playground is a key feature of a groundbreaking new children's hospital at Stanford University. Christopher Dawes is proud of all the details. And the bears. Yeah, this is a photo op for the families Father and for us too. Dawes heads the newly opened Lucille Packard Children's Hospital at Stanford University. We have an outdoor patio for every floor. I have the view. Karina Garcia is one of the first patients. How many things are you hooked up to anyway? Like a million. <laughs> Her recovery from surgery for serious intestinal problems has been made easier in a hospital designed from the ground up to serve young patients and their families. I like these. When she is able to take a walk with a nurse and her mother, Lucila, Karina seeks out the animal sculptures that dot the hallways. She was particularly delighted to discover the cow made out of toys. What difference does it make having something like this in it's the hospital? It's just cool. It's like distracting. It's like, whoa. It gets like your mind off like the sickness and medicine. You're just like, oh my God, admiring the art. For two-year-old Olivia Casillas and her parents, Josie and Aaron, there is no better distraction than the story room with its huge interactive screen. There's another scene where you can wave your arms around and the seaweed moves and the fish interact with you. It makes long hospital days easier for Olivia, who in her short life has undergone 13 surgeries. It's all about finding new things for her to do. And there's always kids in here. I think it's awesome because not only are they here because they're sick, but they get to be kids too. The hospital was mostly funded by the Lucille Packard Foundation, created by the wife of Hewlett Packard's co-founder. In her view uh, and in ours, that it's so important to think about the hospital from the kids' perspective. David Orr is Lucille Packard's grandson. Uh, it's not just a kind of sterile institution with echoing white hallways. We've decorated the room. A potential scary procedure like a CT scan is filled with distractions. For example, twinkling stars on the ceiling, wallpaper on the walls to make it look like the beach or the San Francisco. But one simple feature seems most significant. Almost every room is private and includes a couch that makes into a bed. And to make the difference, I see the bed in here. <laughs> this, this bed here. Yeah, because I had to spend many days, uh, more than 100 days in the hospital. Karina's mother never leaves. Like she stayed with me every single admission. She slept every single day. And she hasn't ever left my side. So I'm like very lucky and thankful for my mom. The technology, the art, the outdoors may all be good for healing, but love helps too. For CBS This Morning Saturday, John Blackstone, Palo Alto, California. Yeah, that's the most important thing. But boy, you know, you look at this and go, why didn't somebody think of this sooner? Well, and you're seeing some of the hospitals really start yeah. doing this. University of Michigan has yep. it at Mott and also Iowa. We did the story last year on overlooking Kinnick Stadium. They're realizing all of that matters. How important it is to psychology of recovery. As yeah. someone who hates hospitals. I'm with Karina. I love the cow. <laughs> I want to go see it. Yeah. For many Americans, winter's icy grip seemed to hold on extra long this year. But with the house.